Spring is the best time to lay down some mulch in the garden, but did you know different areas require different kinds of mulch? Garden guy Dale Kay knows about that. He breaks down the benefits. G'day everyone. April is one of those fantastic months in the garden, of course. Winter hopefully is behind us. Uh, my hostas are popping up over there. The birds are chirping. We've had a little bit of rain. That, of course, brings mayflowers. And also, it does bring a few gardening chores. I've got some Pansies planted, I've done that, I've worked in some compost into my veggie garden, and now it's time to add some mulch to my garden, and that's what we're going to be talking about this morning, and there's so many great benefits to adding mulch. Firstly, it's like a fresh coat of paint um, in your landscape, it freshens up your landscape, and then also it helps retain moisture and helps build soil quality as well. So lots of good reasons to incorporate some mulch into your yard. Three inches is best, and about 100 eight square feet of coverage you'll get out of a yard of mulch. So one yard will equal about 108 square feet of coverage for your yard at that three inches thick, which is optimal. And the best thing about mulch is it helps keep the weeds out, which is also one of those things that's sprouting uh, at this time of year. So let's take a look at different types of mulch. Firstly, there's just basically chips, and what you use this for is maybe like in a playground setting or in a walkway setting. Um, I don't like it on hills or slopes. It tends to wash away, but anywhere where you want to create a little pathway, get rid of some mud, that is what a chip is for. The other type of mulch is a shredded mulch, just like this one. This is Western Red Cedar Mulch. It's a great mulch, and the shred actually kind of locks together a little bit. So this is great for if you're trying to hold soil in an embankment or you have a steep slope. A shredded mulch like this cedar is really good. Also, cedar mulch will actually help repel some bugs as well. That cedar wood, not only is it fragrant, but it'll help repel some bugs as well, so that's really good. This is a mini nugget. It's also almost a chip, but it's super fine. And this would be great around flower or perennial beds. Um, you could also incorporate, this is so fine, you could also incorporate this into heavy soils or clay soils to help aerate them as well uh, as, a, as an amendment. That would be good. If you've ever been downtown Chicago, kind of by the Goose Island area, and you just smell chocolate in the air, good chance you're smelling cocoa bean, uh, sorry, cocoa, yeah, cocoa shells that is basically the shell of chocolate. And again, you have that wonderful chocolate smell. It comes from Chicago. Um, and this is a great mulch for around your flowers as well. Just be careful, it's super fine. You can see it's super fine. Um, so it does tend to blow around a little bit, um, but it does have that great fragrance. And then be careful with dogs as well. They, if they get that, it's mildly, uh, get that into their um, system, it's mildly toxic as well. So just watch that one with pets. But if you like that great smell and you don't have pets, a, a great uh, mulch for your flowers. There's also colored mulches on the market. Um, this is red, it's probably the, the most vibrant. Just be aware that these tend to fade a little bit quicker than some of your other mulches, so oftentimes your reapplication is a little bit more. Um, this is a premium um, hardwood mulch that is basically all bark, so you're not getting any of that chunky wood in there, it's just, just from the straight bark, and that makes a super rich color that lasts a long time. That's the advantage of an all bark. Then there's just the regular hardwood, and you can see that texture is a little bit different from the all bark. You kind of get the wood in there as well, so that's why that that old bark tends to be a little bit richer, so um, that's a really nice nice product. And then what I use in my garden is pine bark. Um, it's a good shred. It has some little chips in there for some texture. I like it because it's local. It doesn't ship um, from a long way away. It has a great pine smell, and it's relatively cost effective. Um, bags versus bulk, well, I've done them both. Usually you find a little bit of a cost saving with the um, with the bulk product. The advantage with bags is you can get the mulch right where it's needed and is not so heavy kind of lifting around. Um, but either one is just fine. The most important thing is lay it down because it is absolutely fantastic for the garden and gives you some exercise from those long winter months indoors. Back to you.